Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Running here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I am going to revive the 19 GPU mining rig and specifically on this 19 GPU, I believe this is a AAA wave frame and this was gifted to me by good old Igor Schmidt. Igor Schmidt, if you're watching this man, thank you again for this 19 GPU mining frame. Some of you may have saw that video where I built a bunch of, you know, Sapphire Nitros and as well as uh, some mining specific cards, the P104s, and it was all built on this mining motherboard and specifically this is an Asus mining expert, okay? So take a look at this, it has a lot of PCIe able to have 19 GPUs. The unfortunate thing about this motherboard is that you need mining specific cards. So for example, like P106, P104s, or P102s, and they needed to be in certain slots on the motherboard. So just recently, I received this package right here from a Discord member who sold me this MSI B360F Pro. Okay, you guys can see the model right here, and this one is supposedly be able to have 19 like regular GPUs, all right? I don't need to have any mining specific cards on this motherboard. So this is something I am really excited to try out, and yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. For some of you that have been with me, I would say for, I would say the past two years, I did do a review on this motherboard, but unfortunately it died on me. So I had to return it to Amazon. So I was never able to get it to work. So here we are today. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I can do 19 regular GPUs or 18. I'm not quite sure if I can do 19. One, two, three, four, 18. Yeah, there's 18 PCIe slots here. Now I just saw on a comment that when I reviewed this motherboard like two years ago, someone just commented that they were able to do 20 RTX 3080s on this motherboard. So either they must have used like a U-bit splitter or USB splitter to add like, you know, three more or two more RTX 3080s. That's insane. So I'll post the comment on here. But yeah, I, uh, I am excited to finally rebuild the 19 GPU mining rig and I promised that I would when I had the ability to. So I don't have, you know, 20 RTX 3080s or, or 18 for that matter. I just have some regular 1660 Ti's, okay? I have some EVGA ones here and I do have some other EVGA 1660 Supers, okay? And yeah, I also have some 5700s. So I have about 12 GPUs here so far. We're gonna do like a two part series and you know, I'm gonna put these 12 GPUs first in this video and we're gonna see if we can, you know, get it up on with just 12 GPUs on this motherboard. And I'm gonna couple it with a G4930 processor and eight gigs of GDDR4 RAM 2400 on this motherboard. So, all right, I'm gonna try to do this step by step so you guys know what I'm doing. I'm gonna first put in the motherboard, all right? So let's do that first. All right, the motherboard is in. I got the CPU all in already, the eight gigs of RAM, and uh, the SSD as well with HiveOS on it. I won't need to show you guys how to burn a HiveOS installation. You guys can Google that in the YouTube. There's plenty of videos about how to do that. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys before I go to the next step of, I guess, adding the power supply, is I found out that this motherboard also came with a bunch of these like little two pin to 24 pin adapters which is really cool. So if I just bring you over here, on this part of the motherboard, there are four different ports here that plug these four adapters in, basically to turn on all of the other power supplies uh, if I have multiple power supplies needed for you know more GPUs. We're obviously gonna have to have more power supplies on here, but realistically, they have to be ATX. Now, I am not sure if my configuration, I am going to be utilizing HP server power supplies. I haven't thought that far yet. We'll see, we'll see if I'm gonna be using all ATX PSUs or uh, HP server power supplies. Okay, so the next step I need to do for this whole rig is to add the power supply and then after that, we're gonna turn it on. Okay. So this is the power supply I'm thinking of using for the main motherboard and uh, powering the first set of GPUs. Okay, so let me go ahead and put that in. Okay, the 2000 watt Bitcoin Alibaba power supply. I'll have it linked down below. You guys can know which seller I bought this from. So uh, yeah, you guys know I've actually bought six of these a while back and the one I have installed on my RX 580 rig 
it's still going good. It still works pretty good. So I think they are generally okay. So we shall see on this uh, rig here for the, I guess I'm gonna put the uh, supers and TIs on this power supply as there's eight PCIe strands. I'll show you that in a sec. But you guys can see, I already have the three Molex plugged into the motherboard, uh, which is required. And I've heard some people say that you may not need these because the risers are already powered by PCIe. So I'm not sure what to believe, but I'm gonna have them plugged in anyway. And then uh, I have the eight pin plugged in, the 24 pin ATX, and uh, I've done some cable management. Let's go with the back here. And you guys can see how I have it set up. SSD is all plugged in with one SATA. So yeah, there we go. And then here are eight PCIe strands, and each strand has a daisy chained eight pin. Okay, these 1660 Ti and the eight supers there, I'm gonna put eight of them, uh, one strand for each GPU, and there should technically be enough, one eight pin, and then hopefully, I really hope that this strand will make it to the riser so that I don't have to utilize any like splitters or uh, extenders, I don't have any extenders, but splitters uh, in order to uh, reach to the GPU riser, okay? So, and yeah, we're gonna be using GPURisers.com risers uh, thanks to them. So yeah, that's how I have it set up now for the power supply. Now, before I actually add in the GPUs, I wanna make sure HiveOS can see this whole setup without GPUs. So I'm gonna get a monitor and turn it on and see if HiveOS sees it. So give me one sec. Okay, moment of truth. Let's turn this thing on. Okay, let's see if this actually works. This whole video might be ruined if this doesn't work. Okay, so I have the uh, power cable button plugged in. Here we go, three, two, one. Hope there's no smoke. Okay, it turned on. Now will anything come up on the screen? That is the question through DVI, yes. Okay, uh, let's see here, CPU memory change, yeah, that's good. Oh, I don't have a mouse and keyboard, all right, give me one sec. Oh, no, looks like it's going. Uh, hopefully, let's see if it goes in Hive OS. That's all I wanna see. That's all I want to see. Oh, look at that, B360F Pro, there we go. It's got the uh, PCIe monitoring as well. And yeah, it looks like it's going into Hive OS. Okay, all right. That is cool. All right, that's good. Okay, guys, give me one sec. Yeah, we're good. Hive OS can see this rig, B360F Pro, and yeah, we're good. G4930 processor, 120 gig SSD. Okay, guys. Okay, we are ready to add some GPUs. Oh man, I'm super excited to get this going. Okay, so I am just gonna quickly add in the four 1660 Ti's and the four 1660 Supers onto uh, this whole mining rig frame, okay? Oh yeah, before I put in the cards, I just wanted to show you guys, the BIOS on this motherboard already has a mining mode and it was already enabled when I booted into the BIOS. I forgot to check all the settings first. But yeah, it's basically all the similar things that you would do on other mining motherboards. Uh, basically setting Gen 1 and the 4G decoding and all that stuff. Uh, but it didn't disable the uh, HD, uh, the audio. Uh, so that's another thing that I did as well. And uh, I think that was under integrated peripherals. Yeah, the HD audio controller I disabled. And I also disabled the uh, serial port. Uh, serial port zero, I, I disabled that as well. So uh, that's all I could see otherwise in terms of other stuff I could uh, free up, maybe possibly some PCIe lanes. Uh, it looks good. Okay, so I'm going to now put in all the cards. Oh, one more thing I want to talk about is some of you guys may be wondering why that I use that cardboard piece. This is just on top of a motherboard box. Some of you may have watched that video two years ago when I had this motherboard and I think it short circuited on the VETA frame that I had. Normally it's screwed into these motherboard standoffs on the uh, VETA frame that I had before and I feel like that was the issue that shorted the board and it didn't even boot, it didn't even go on in the first place. So I have it on cardboard this time, so I don't run into any issues. I have used cardboard on multiple, multiple rigs, multiple years, no issues. So yeah, anyways, okay, let me put in some cards. Okay, I have eight GPUs on this 19 GPU frame. 
Oh man, this took me a while, but it is nice and clean now. Okay, let me just quickly just show you guys what I did. So I'm utilizing all of the cables that are coming from the 2000 watt power supply. And uh, obviously we're not gonna use 2000 watts on uh, four 1660 Ti's and four 1660 Supers. Uh, you guys know it's gonna be like 75 to 80 watts each. And yeah, you can do the math there. Okay, so the bottom four PCIe cables going to the bottom four uh, TIs here. Uh, the cable lengths were perfect and I didn't need to use any splitters or, uh, or anything. You guys can see the daisy chain went is perfect length to go into the riser for the six pin PCIe. So that's all well and good. But as we get up here, and you know, this is a 19 GPU mining frame, so length is gonna be an issue. So the PCIe cable for the 2000 watt power supply was just not long enough to go to the top four here, all right? And of course, we have another level for more GPUs, and that's gonna be an issue for another video. But you can see here, I had to use the splitters, all right? And I'm not using the daisy chain on each of the four strands, okay? I'm just using the another splitter. I'm, essentially making another daisy chain and you guys can see here it's going into uh, the GPUs like this and then I have the other side of the splitter going into uh, each of the six pin in the risers okay the GPU risers.com okay so that's it and I almost had an issue with the USB cables not being long enough going into the motherboard here but you guys can see here it worked out well. I had to swap out the four GPUs that were on the first four of the motherboard and put them over here so that I can make the length on this side uh, for the other four GPUs. I'm definitely gonna have an issue with length once I do the top six, so, but that will be for another part of the video I will figure out later on. Anyways, okay guys, let's go ahead. You guys can see how I did it, a little bit cable managed. Let's go ahead, let's turn it on and let's see if there's gonna be any smoke or anything like that, okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited to get this going. Okay, here we go, power on. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Oh, let's see, three, two, one. Smell test. Okay, nothing's burning. Oh, something came up on the screen. Okay, yeah, we have uh, eight. Eight GPUs showing up on the motherboard. Okay, that's a, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Oh man, this motherboard has lights on them too. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna, it's loading up HiveOS now. I'm gonna go see if it shows up on the web GUI. Okay. Look at this, it works, it shows up. And this rig just booted, yeah, it says a minute ago. And uh, yeah, we have the four 1660 Ti's and the four 1660 Supers. I really wish that this one was over here. Uh, maybe I can figure that out later, but look at that. Looks like it's working and looks like I need to, yeah, definitely set some overclocks and uh, the flight sheet. So give me one sec. Okay, I just applied the overclocks and the flight sheet. Looks like it's just about to mine right now, but let's go to the screen. Okay, and looks like it is mining. Wait, uh, let's see here. Okay, it just made the kernel. Okay, yeah, 250 mega hash for the whole rig. All right, that looks good. That looks really good, actually. Okay, I think it's working, guys. So I think it's getting about 30 mega hash uh, per card. I think the TIs will get 30 and the supers will get 32. Yeah, looks like, uh, yeah. Yeah, looks like I'm right and oh man, that is sick. Oh man, that, that I can't believe this worked like just perfect. I thought I was gonna have an issue with this rig, like, I don't know, a riser or something not plugged in right, but man, this motherboard is so cool. I'm so happy that this works. The Discord member who sent me this motherboard, thank you so much, man, I really appreciate it. And man, I am so excited to get other GPUs onto this 19 GPU frame, well, mainly on the motherboard. So guys, I was gonna put the four 5700s on, but I'm gonna leave that for another video. I am spent already. I'm gonna just figure out how I'm gonna build, you know, this the other part of the mining rig here. Because you guys know, I did have an issue with the lengths of the PCIe cables. So I may have to do the HP server power supply way which I have no, no issue in doing. I love HP server power supplies, but there was a new breakout board that I wanted, uh, but it's not in stock. Uh, you guys may have seen it on Parallel Miner, uh, but I'm gonna try to find one later on. But anyways, guys, 
I think we're good. We're good for now. I'm happy about this. I'm, I'm just, I'm so spent right now. I can't do anything. Look at this though. It looks like it's mining just perfect. Okay. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on the next edition, next part video. How should I uh, add the GPUs uh, or uh, the power supplies? And uh, I'm gonna find more GPUs. So essentially I need to add 10 more GPUs. Okay, so I have eight on here currently and I need to add 10 more. So I have the four 5700s and then I need to find six more GPUs uh, that I can add onto this mining motherboard, the B360F Pro from MSI. This is awesome. Look at that guys, these lights. I can't believe that, that is sick. That is so cool. Okay, all right guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next part video. I'm gonna let this go for a while and just make sure it's stable and then I will start adding on more cards to this rig, but I wanna get your guys' feedback first. Okay, my friends, all right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.